my new update came out today, so I want to take a look at it. Uh, credits to the Reddit Discord, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to join. Uh, they have all the info for the new update, which is going to be tomorrow, November 7th. Um, if I do sound tired, I'm sorry, I just came back from college and I just saw this, I was like, okay, I need to record this. Um, yeah, this is actually exciting. So, uh, there is a new banner coming out, which is really interesting, because um, I was not expecting. We just came, we just got uh, Meliodas and Monspy, but I get this is a very filler banner, but I do not summon this banner. This is a banner that you clearly meant to skip, because the characters are very skippable. Not only they are characters that most people wouldn't even mu much care for, I'm sorry if you're a fan of them, but I'm honest. <laughs> and um, it includes an SR card, so uh, this card will be so easily pullable after, right? Uh, th this card right here, gonna be pulling him all the time later on, so you don't even have to chase him, right? And this card right here, uh, I'll be going over what he does. He is, he is okay, um, of course, there is still the Meliodas banner, I'll pull it up, but I have it on my phone right now, not on my PC, I'm, I'm uh, farming <laughs> I'm farming equipment on my PC, on my phone right now, and I'm recording the PC. Um, but we still have the Meliodas banner, so if you are planning on spending gems at all, the Meliodas banner is what you should be going for, Meliodas is a super busted unit. Um, this banner is really kind of a filler, uh, but... With that being said, let's go uh, kind of over it. So these are the ultimates. I will, I will pull them up. Um, I will pull them up just so we can take a look at it. This is Dogit. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. Just this is actually pretty cool. I'm terrible with names, by the way. So this is what he does. Let me actually do this. Uh, let me zoom in. So his uh, again, this is the SR card. Okay. So uh, his uh, first attack. This is like this is level three base. So uh, just think of the level one, level two as like a weaker version of these, but in the same realm. Deals 360 to a single enemy uh, and prevents their ultimate gauge from increasing for one turn. So I'm assuming level two also does this, the same effect, and level one doesn't do any effect at all. So that's interesting. Uh, his regular attack right here uh, deals 400 to a single enemy and inflicts ruin. Uh, removes all target debuffs and deals 20% more damage for each buff removed. So again, I'm assuming his level 2 is a little weaker. Um, and level level 1 probably doesn't even apply ruin. <laughs> uh, or inflicts ruin, whatever. Um, the ultimate. Removes all buffs and stances from a single target. Deals 490% inflicts stun. Okay, the stun part is actually pretty interesting. The, um... Oh, this... Okay, this is it. Okay. Increases defense related skill, uh, skills to red element heroes. So this is clearly for like hell difficulty where you need to bring like a full mono red team. Or like, um, I mean hell difficulty for everything, right? That you have to bring a full mono red team. I guess he's, he's gonna be your support guy, right? 30% for more defense. And defense is important. Like I, I, I saw while doing go for a super impact. Um, super boss, whatever. He does, like, insane damage, right? But when I applied my, my defense food, he was doing so much less damage. Like, defense is important. So I guess he's gonna be a very good support guy. Um, and again, he's an SR card, so most most likely than not, you're gonna pull him all the time. So don't worry about that. And, not, and then the other guy, Death Pierce. Let me actually also take a look at his ultimate. It's just like the, um, looks pretty cool. It's just like the ultimate from, um, the story mode that we had. So let me actually take a look at what he does. Alright, uh, Scolding Accelerando, um, deals 360% to a single enemy, removes all buffs and seals buff and debuff skills for two turns. Okay, okay. So, again, level 1, you can be sure that he will not do anything. Level level 2, he's probably gonna do it, like, for one turn, and then level 2, he does for two turns. Alright. He's interesting, but, like, again, as I said, he's nothing, like, crazy. He's not, like, Meliodas. Uh, well, Grazioso deals 450% damage to a single target enemy. Ign damage, damage ignores enemy patience rate. Okay. Mm, he did... 
the 450% is pretty high. Like, let me take a look at how much is the percentage for Escanor. Just for as a quick comparison. So Escanor does 500%. This guy is doing 450, but we don't know his stats. We gotta take a look at how high his stats can go. If he has, like, pretty good stats, he can hit, like, pretty hard. Um, but again, at the same time, I don't think he will. We'll see. Um, and then the ultimate, Explendor Brilliante. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't know this language. This 100% to all enemies and reduces all attack related skills by 30% for 3 turns. It's an okay ultimate. I've seen better. Uh, passive removes all enemy. reduces, I'm sorry. All enemy critical chance by 30%. I can see it being very helpful, actually. I can really see it being helpful. Like, why are you you're doing. Cri what, co what color is it? I don't know the color. Like, I know this guy's red because he's buffing red, right? Is there any place that says the color of him? Oh, I need to know what color he is. Hmm. I was gonna say, in the Crimson Raid, he crits you all the time. Like, he can be a very helpful uh, ally for you if he's, like, blue. Oh, no, I'm sorry, red. I'm thinking of the red demon. Uh, if he's, like, red, he can be a very good ally as well for you for that raid. Or, like, in general, uh, other difficult activities that you get critted all the time. He's, they are pretty good, but, like, again, this is a very skippable banner. I, I do not summon. If you are going to summon, summon for Demon Meliodas. You are gonna pull these guys eventually, and they're not necessary. Um, I said, I, I, I said that I was not going to like really uh, judge units before I actually put my hands on them. But to be honest, this is more of like an advice from someone that plays gacha games for years. These banners are just filler, right? They are just introducing new characters because they want to increase the pool. And they wanna, they wanna uh, actually give more content and more variety, but they are not like necessary to summon for. It's not like Meliodas' banner. You're not, ne you don't have to summon, but if you summon, you're gonna get good stuff. If you pull him, it's like a big deal. I feel like if you pull this guy, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. You know, it's it's kind of like the comparison. So I'd say if you haven't pulled Meliodas yet, you keep summon for Meliodas. Or to save for Christmas. I've been saying this, dude. If you save for Christmas, I'm telling you, gacha games love Christmas and New Year's. They're gonna drop something hype. What I'm thinking, and I'm gonna actually make a video on this, actually, uh, of my theories that I have for uh, for upcoming stuff. But I really think they're gonna drop the 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 Meliodas' brother guy, the one that has the white. I'm, I'm terrible with names. I said this in the beginning of the video. I'm awful with names. The one that fights uh, Escanor. Oh. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Awful of names. But uh, the one that fights Ascanor. Not Galen, the other one. It would be so cool if they drop him for like Christmas. Like a dual banner, him and the other and the other the, the little brother, Meliodas guy. It's really cool. Um, it would be really cool. I, I really assume they will because that's like such a, a thing that would make them money. Okay, so the costumes will be sold for a new, like, with every unit, you know, of course, they bring new costumes, so that's nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary. So it is going to drop on November 7th, um, Japan time? Okay, so Japan time is the regular Japan time that they always drop. Um, quality of life, item warehouse maximum capacity increase from 300 to 400, mine is like, as like 200, so I don't even... <laughs> I don't even stretch, I'm gonna stress about this quality of life update. Equip warehouse remains unchanged, okay. Adjustments to the pumpkin training cave. Okay. They reduced a little bit of the CP. Not much. Does that mean it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit easier? Or or what? But if it's just like the recommendation, if it I mean so long as it reduces CP, it's gonna be easier for us to like go first, right? But is, is, does that mean that it's going to be easier? If it is going to be easier, I appreciate it because, like, honestly, I'll take any bone that they throw at me. But I wonder. I don't think it's going to be easier, though. I just I just think they're going to reduce the CP and that's it. So, yeah, a, a little bit of a um, not big of a deal update. But, again, I highly recommend you not summoning this banner. It is a step up. 
I should have said this in the beginning, it is a step up, so maybe there will be like really crazy steps. But we had really crazy steps on Lilia's banner. That banner was worth something for because Lilia is busted. But uh, I don't recommend. If you if you are a whale, you know you can do whatever you want for your money. I'm not, I'm not judging you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.